Evening of the third day of my vacation. Got my uh, back windshield replaced. $185. Took three and a half hours. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Taking another hike. This time I'm going to head um, south. Yesterday I had gone west, although I had my directions mixed up yesterday when I was saying north and east, I was meaning south and west. Anyways, yesterday I went that way. Today I'm going this way. But I'm still going to go up to uh, the base of uh, Little Baldy and then start heading south from there. No particular destination in mind. It's uh, 5.45 in the evening, so flight's not going to last a whole lot longer, maybe two hours. But that's really all I'm up to tonight. It's just a, an evening stroll. Not really hiking long distance. It's been hot today. I didn't want to... I got back from getting the window replaced at about 2. But it was up into the 80s and I just didn't really feel like getting out and hiking then. I wanted to wait for it to cool down first. So, just a little evening stroll. There's something really nice about hiking up here in the evening. Sun's going down, it's getting cool, but also just, you know, the light. It's just really, uh, really beautiful. Got a couple hours of sun left. A little baldy ahead, which you should recognize by now. Now I'm going to hike up more to the base, go over that ridge just below and hike down to that lake over there. I am trying to also scout out a way to get up to that mountain that I was trying to get to yesterday. I'm not going there tonight, but maybe if I can just kind of scout something out. Oh. I'll tell you, all the hiking out here could be like this. I mean, it's, it's a lot of climbing up and down over rocks, but you notice here, not so many trees you get down into the lower parts there and there may not be a whole lot of them but the ones there are are really packed together really tight it's nice being up here in the evening i don't know how good the light's coming through on this my uh phone slash camera here which i recently discovered has a uh, an optical zoom I've had this phone for a year, and I never knew that the camera had an optical zoom. Oh well, I don't know. But it's just an optical, or excuse me, not an optical zoom, it's a digital zoom. So it doesn't actually, <laughs> you can zoom in, but the quality's not going to be very good. But hey, it's nice to know it has one. Alright, get back in a sec. Base of Little Baldy. It's beautiful. Nice breeze blowing. Glad the temperature's cooling down. Uh, the lake's just right down there. It's not even as far as I thought, so... I see a trail going down there, but I'd really like to kind of work my way over to those hills there in the distance. Not those in the way distance, but there's some right here that are closer. And try to work my way up to the top. Possibly not tonight, but I don't know, let's just see. I'm headed in this direction. I'm not really sure of a destination. And I even, there's a bit of a valley there and I even see a trail and I just heard I don't see them but I heard some uh, wild turkeys gobbling heard them again I don't know where they are but I've got wild turkeys close to them I've seen them out here I definitely hear them now I don't have any idea where they are, but I hear them talking. In any case, 
I'd like to get up there and I can see a trail down there in the valley, but I don't know how to get down to the trail. And where I am now, it's pretty uh, unfriendly as far as getting down. I wish I could see these turkeys because I certainly hear them gobbling. I know you're probably getting lots of wind noise. I know you don't hear the turkeys. They're close by. I wish I could show them to you. If I knew where they were. The problem is, even if I came across them, if I didn't have the camera already going, by the time I got it out, they'd be long gone. But anyway, I even see a trail right down there. The trail or stream. I'm going to kind of just go along the edge of this and see if I can find a way down into it. Can't get down where I am. Rouse the turkeys. You know, this place almost has a, a desert like environment to it with all the rocks, and there's cactus everywhere. You got these little, you know, cactus like that, and then these cactus like this. There's several different varieties of cactus here. And there's no water. Well, <laughs> there's, it's kind of stupid to say there's no water and there's water right there. It's rained recently, so. This is just a little bit of flow from, I wouldn't want to drink that. Certainly wouldn't want to drink that. But this is just a little bit of place. It's Wednesday evening, and uh, I've got still Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I don't have to worry about this. So either tomorrow or Friday, I want to climb Elk Mountain. See how I feel in the morning. I haven't slept really good these first two nights. It's kind of hard. You know, you're not sleeping on your bed. But I want to get a better night's sleep tonight. I think I'll let the turkeys go in. I think they're in the, that valley below me. I could hear them very plainly, just gobbling away. But I never could see them. And I haven't heard them since I left there. And it might be my best bet if I want to be able to uh, get up on that over there is to start on that side actually the road that goes to the there's a highway that goes south to the town of Cash and hooks up with uh, US Highway 62 and it goes through a valley over there I think if I started that road and hiked up I could hike into these things and avoid the this valley here, which I still haven't found an easy way to get down into. And right now I'm just following along the rim here. Right. So, next couple days I'll do Elk Mountain and then I will uh, probably park over there by the that road that goes to Cash, and see if I can't just hike up straight into there. That'll be the next couple of days. Tonight, I think I'm just going to take a leisurely little hike around here, enjoy the beautiful sunset, and just kind of. Well, actually, I'm seeing a spot over here where. Looks like I might be able to get down to that valley. I call it a valley. It's not like it's a really a valley. It's not but maybe 
a hundred feet down to it, you know. I don't guess it actually qualifies as a valley, but it's just, you know, valley, gully, I don't know what to call it. The low area there. Oh, well, this is, <laughs> you do a lot of this boulder hopping here in certain areas. But I'd rather be climbing over boulders like this than trying to get through the, whoa, this one is kind of moving. I'd rather be dealing with boulders than uh, those thick trees and the cactus. But over here is a spot where you see where it kind of slopes down. I'll probably get down there. Put this camera away for a second. Sun's coming out from behind the clouds there. It's really lighting that up over there. There's a few flowers here. This place is famous for uh, flowers. They call them Indian blanket. Problem is, I've never been here when they're blooming because they mostly bloom late spring into summer. I've never been here late spring and summer. I've always been here in the autumn and the winter. So I'd really like to see the Indian blanket, apparently it's just really widespread and thick. It's supposed to be very beautiful, but I've just never been here at the time. This ground is kind of odd in places. You see, it, it's kind of like got, you know, seams in it. Here's a seam running down. And I can tell in places where water flows, you know, but I don't think it's the water that created the seam. I think the water's just taking advantage of the seam. odd the way it's like right there there's no way water's flowing over that but there's a seam coming from the rock right there I might be able to get down that's straight ahead actually that's straight ahead so this is pretty darn steep. It looks like you could get down there at those trees at the bottom. There. I can see a trail down there that goes off in that direction, but I don't think I'm going to try to get down to that tonight. For one thing, I've only got 6.20. I've got about an hour, hour and 15 minutes till sunset. So while I'd like to get to that peak over there, and I fully intend to, I want to do it when I have more light, and I think I'm going to try going from uh, east to west to get there. So, but I do. I think it'd just be really cool to be able to hike. I want to hike all the way across the spine of that. I don't guess you can call it a mountain. It's probably pretty close to being a mountain, but I think it's probably only. 1500 feet maybe I think that peak over on the other side is actually taller I mean these mountains used to be a lot taller but these things are 500 million years old and they've really been uh, eroded I mean a long time ago they were a lot a lot taller I couldn't give you I couldn't say for how much but they used to be a lot bigger than this, but forgetting their size, it's just, these are just beautiful. Great thing about this place, no matter where you are inside this, it's a Federal Reserve. There's no billboards, no advertising of any kind, except for signs just pointing out where the lakes are and the campground and that sort of thing, but no advertising. There's no alcohol permitted here. That might be a downer to some people. <laughs> One of the things I like about it also, not much in a way, I like power lines. And they keep the place very clean. Yeah, you can spot an odd bottle or a can here beside the roads, but they do a very good job of policing that sort of thing and cleaning up after. This is one of the cleanest places I've seen in Oklahoma. 
So you got no billboards or advertising. You don't have power lines and poles sticking up all over the place. There's no trash. It's just you're far enough away from any of the towns. You don't hear any. Uh, there's no major highways nearby. You might hear some jets. Of course, where are you? Not going to hear jets, but we do have a Fort Sill military reservation just right over the other side of that far mountain. And that other one, I would call a mountain, the one in the distance. But uh, you might hear a few military things, but most of the time, everything you hear is just wind and birds and just natural sounds. And everything you see is natural. I love this place. Yeah, that's the visitor center. You see something over there. If you can see it in the middle of the screen with the green roof. That's the uh, the visitor center. So, shit. Again, well, I'm going to have to do some more boulder hopping because I've come to a... Oh, I might be able to get down. Might be able to get down through the rocks there. This kind of looks like a slot. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go around. Let me see if I can get down right here. Oh. Ah. No. <laughs> That's just a, a big, huge pile of rocks. No, I don't. I think I'm gonna have to go around. I'm gonna turn this camera off again, and I'll get back to you. You know, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm saying I don't know. I'm. I do know. I really wouldn't want to be out here at, after dark by myself. There's a deer footprint there. Oh yeah, this morning I was walking through uh, the campground and there was a group of deer. And even back home, I mean, I see deer on Turkey Mountain. Boy, they take one look at you and they run. But the deer here, they keep their distance. You know, they're, they're not really afraid of you. They're not hunted here, so they don't have that fear of humans. I mean, I didn't really approach too closely, but... I mean, I just, there was a group of them standing there, and I walked by maybe 20 feet from them. And other than just kind of looking up to make sure I didn't come any closer, they weren't particularly concerned. And I've had them, if I had something in my hand, I've had them come up and eat out of my hand before. But, uh, kind of following a trail of some sort here. I don't know if I even finished my thought. I was saying I don't know if I'd want to be out here after dark. Because uh, last night when I was laid in my tent, I was hearing what I assume were uh, coyotes howling. And I mean a lot of them. I heard a lot of howls. I'm assuming it's coyotes. It was definitely canine. Look at that weird looking tree. That small one right there. A lot of these trees are dead. Some of them are half dead. Some of them are broken. Of course it's still early spring but uh I was hearing them howling all night long I mean they were in the distance and I don't figure they probably come you know into the camp I mean I wasn't worried there but I just don't know if I'd want to be out here where they run seem to have left the turkeys behind. So, uh, I don't know where this is leading me. I don't really care. I'm just, you know, it is just, it's beautiful out here. The temperature has uh, cooled off. It's probably about 65, but it's very breezy and it just feels wonderful out here. Beautiful weather since I've been here. A bit hot during the daytime. Um, on this hike, I'm well supplied with water. 
took that hike yesterday only took a quart. And I don't have I've got a winch I've got a window in the back of my truck now. A windshield. You know, so I'm not so much worried about there's more to just all kinds of dung. There's big dung and small dung. There's, I'm assuming that this big stuff is uh, uh, buffalo. I haven't seen longhorn steer up in this park. The only place I've seen the longhorn steer, well actually yeah I've seen them. Not up here in the rocks. I've seen them down by the road though. But the buffalo do come up here. It's either steer or buffalo, and it pretty much has to be buffalo. I don't think the steer come up here. I've never seen them up here, but I've seen the buffalo. I haven't actually seen them up here on these rocks, but I've seen their, I've seen them all around the place, and I've seen their footprints. And there's a little stream in there running down into that little valley thing. I'm not going to go down because that's just trees down there. And again, I'm just wearing a t-shirt and shorts. I don't really want to get my legs all scabbed up like last night. But, yeah, being out here all by yourself way after dark. Well, I'll tell you, this grass, it's just so green. You know? With all those coyotes. Um, I'm guessing they're coyotes. I'd be a bit nervous. I don't know if they would go after it. Now look at that. Look at that big old hunk. Tell me that came from, yeah. I don't know if coyotes would go after a person. I do know of a woman, out not here, out somewhere, I believe it was uh, in the Rocky Mountain area. She was, uh, I'm not sure if she was jogging or hiking, but she was attacked and killed by a pack of coyotes. Uh, so it does happen. I believe it's, an, it's certainly an unusual situation. But uh, I'm not worried right now. I uh, Maybe I should bring my kukri. I've got a... Uh, I've got a machete back in my uh, truck. I believe it's called a kukri. Um, big angled machete. Blade's about 14 inches long. Maybe I should carry that. I mean, I've got this little knife. It's just got a four inch blade. Yeah, maybe I should carry my kukri. You know, with a 14 inch blade. <laughs> That'd be some fair defense. It weighs about two pounds. I don't know where I'm getting to. It doesn't matter. I don't have a destination in mind. I'm just, you know, not tonight. I'm just out enjoying the weather. I'm pretty much on the opposite side of uh, Little Baldy. Yeah, I just, it just feels great to get out and and hike. And this is just such a wonderful area. And all of this is just a part right by the campground. This wildlife refuge here from west to east is something like, oh, I'm going to say maybe 10 to 15 miles. I can't say exactly. Probably more than 10 and less than 15 in width. And uh, it's basically a from north to south, if I keep going in that direction, if well, hypothetically speaking, if I was to keep going in that direction, I get to the military reservation in just a couple of miles. From north to south, you probably can't go more than three or four miles in most places because you got military reservation to the south, and you've got the uh, the non-public part of the uh, wildlife refuge to the north. 
So you've got a belt that's maybe two or three miles wide in places, maybe three or four in other places, if that. Probably most places it's not more than two. But it's about 10 to 15 miles long. But add that all up, do the math, and you've got probably 30 plus square miles out here that's just wide open. coming down to a part where, again, it might look, I keep getting teased. I keep coming to parts where it looks like it might be easy to get down, and here I am again, and another part looks like it'd be really easy to get down to that, so I'm going to shut the camera off again and see if I can't climb down into that there. It's looking pretty easy. Get back to you. Okay, I've uh, come down off of that ridge there. Um, it's not that far down here. <laughs> Man, I'm surprised I don't see buffalo in here. I've seen them all over the park. You can't drive up and down the roads here without seeing them, and there's dung everywhere. I'm surprised I don't actually come across one. I mean, there's tons of them in the park right now. But, uh... I haven't actually come across any of them in the last few days when I've been hiking. Um, let me just go over here and see. Is this a trail? Yeah, it looks kind of like a trail, but I'm not going to stick to it. And sometimes it's hard to tell. There's can't tell what kind, but there's animal footprints here. See, I mean, there's, you don't know if they're people trails or game trails sometimes. Although, if you got a buffalo walking through the mud, you're going to, you know, definitely be able to tell what that is. Oh. That's where I came down off of that. Um, well, it's just another hill here. I'm not sure what's on the other side of this hill. I see another. Now there is definitely a people trail there. The thing is, most of these trails I come across are going at 90 degrees to the way I'm going. I don't know where they go to and I don't know where they come out. I mean, that's definitely a trail there, but I have no idea where it leads, and it's not really going the direction I want to go. I'm kind of getting, trying to get south. Seems like I'm always encountering trails here that are going 90 degrees to the way I'm going. Uh, it's getting kind of thick with trees again. This stuff, the stuff I'm walking on now looks, doesn't look like your classic granite. It's got a lot of black stuff in it. I mean, it is granite, but it's kind of chipped and chewed and worn away. It's not like the stuff up higher. danger to being out here by myself is there is a possibility of snakes out here. Being that it's just late March, I don't think there's a lot, I mean, they may be here, but I don't think there's a lot of them. You know, I just, just trying to get more tree and everything. It's, uh, dang, it's, I haven't paid attention to the time. It's nearly 7 o'clock. Well, it's 6.50. I'm going to follow the trail back in this direction. I'm just going to go ahead and follow the trail a bit. 
and uh, try to see where it leads. I mean, since you can't really see anything here, I'm just going to shut the camera off for now. Well, this trail has gone west, and it's uh, now going south, but I don't know where it leads. It's, it's just getting... It's not comfortable walking through here because there's all sorts of weeds scratching on my legs, and I don't know where this is going to go, and it's getting too late in the evening. The sun's going to set in about half an hour. So I don't want to just be walking aimlessly. I don't know this place well enough to, uh, if it was earlier in the day, I wouldn't mind, but I got like, I might have an hour of sunlight left. It's uh, 6.52, I'm not no sure when the sun goes down. But I think I'm gonna go back up on the rocks where I was and uh, eh, I don't know I'd kind of like to stay up on the rocks tonight I don't want to go back to the truck right now because I have, do still have at least an hour of sunlight or at least an hour of usable light but I just don't really want to be in this low part right now I'd rather be up on the rocks I'll get back to you